Give us a focus, you can do it. Focus on my face. There we go. Good morning, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago. I turned 23, which is weird and a bit sad. I had a lovely day, and thank you, by the way, to anyone who sent me birthday wishes. That was really, really nice, and also very unexpected. So, yeah, sincerely, thank you. But yeah, I had a really nice day. I had a party at my house later on in the evening, which was really fun. I drank far too much. The whole thing was really nice. And to be honest, it was the first time in a couple of years that I haven't had sort of birthday blues. I honestly don't know why this happens. Maybe it has something to do with the almost forced expectations that you have to enjoy your birthday and have a really good day. But for some reason, these last few years, I've always just felt a bit sh** on my birthday. But I didn't this year and that was awesome. I also decided to treat myself this year to a few shiny new toys for my studio. And so this video is just going to be me talking through what I got. It may not be at all interesting for some of you and for that I really do apologise. But if some of you do find it interesting then awesome and it's all related to music tech. If you don't know this already I study music technology at university. So if you have any questions about anything that I talk about today let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to reply. So the first thing that I got which if you watched last week's video you will have already seen it is something that I've been planning on getting for months and that is a new guitar. And I got an absolutely beautiful beautiful Fender Telecaster in I think the colour is called Cosmic Blue. I decided that I wanted to get a Telecaster ages ago because I love the tone of these instruments and they just look so beautiful and they're just f***ing sexy guitars. As you can see the Fender logo is up there. Now I went for the Mexican standard over the American standard. Obviously in an ideal world I would have loved to get an American standard Telecaster, it's an iconic instrument. But in all honesty I'm not a particularly affluent guitarist. I dabble in guitar but I wouldn't ever really call myself a guitarist. It's one of many instruments that I can play to a mediocre level. I just wanted a decent guitar that I could use in the studio. And I did not see the point in spending £1200 on an instrument when I don't have the skill level to unlock its full potential. And quite frankly for everything that I'm going to use it for, which in this case is going to be general recording and studio use, this guitar is perfect. So yeah, that's item number one from the haul, a Fender Telecaster. The next item that I got is this right here. Now this is the M Audio Oxygen 61 key MIDI keyboard. It's just a standard 61 key MIDI keyboard with nine programmable faders, eight programmable knobs, and eight programmable sample pads. It has all the functionality that you would expect from a MIDI controller such as pitch bend modulation and octave buttons. Some of you may have seen in previous videos that I use this. Now this is my old Behringer UMX 490 MIDI keyboard. Now Behringer gets some bad press from time to time, but this thing has honestly been incredible. I think it cost a little over £100 when I got it, I've used it heavily for four or five years now, and it has never given me any grief. The reason that I'm actually replacing this now is just because I'm not very careful. The most recent time I moved house I dropped this pretty hard on the floor and now the octave buttons here don't work, which is a shame because I loved this. Just in case anyone watching actually thinks I get sponsorship deals, this is not a Behringer sponsored video. But the octave buttons didn't work and I wanted something with 61 keys so it had to go. So yeah, that is item number two, it's not a particularly exciting purchase, but MIDI controllers do exactly what they say on the tin and they're essential tools when it comes to working in a studio space. The last item that I got for my birthday is this. This is the Korg Minilog, a dual oscillator polyphonic fully analog synthesizer and it's a f***ing dream. It's a fairly recent addition to Korg's range of synthesizers but it's quickly become a must-have for any synth enthusiast. Beyond just the amazing range of sounds that you can create with this instrument, what I really love about it is the inbuilt delay unit and step sequencer which allows you to layer and loop multiple different sounds together and even has the ability to live record automation from the filter envelopes. I also love the oscilloscope that they built into the front panel which allows you to actually see the waveforms that you're creating and how they're being manipulated. Aesthetically this is a beautiful instrument. I really really like the back panel on it which is made out of real wood and looks sexy. Now I don't claim to be any kind of synth wizard, I know the basics of synthesis. My friend Sim Clark, shout out to Deves, is really really good with synthesis and he's a great person to talk to about this kind of stuff, but I'm not an expert, but this is such a perfect instrument to get if you're not that competent with synthesis and you want to learn. It's also a really compact instrument, I've got my micro cork here and it's actually a little bit shorter than that. This thing is awesome as well by the way. I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to become one of those people that gets really really into synthesis and spends all my money on old analog synthesizers and if you come into my room, there's just keyboards everywhere. Actually, I don't know why I'm worried about that. That would be f***ing awesome. Anyway, that concludes this video. I hope that you found this interesting, and I'm very, very sorry if you're not interested in this stuff. Like I said, if you have any questions about any of the things I've gone through today, or if you want some advice on buying your own music tech equipment, let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my very best to reply to you. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will see you all very soon.